This is lithium grease. I'm going to spray lithium grease down these. Okay. Now I'm going to take this out and I'm going to install it and then I'll take this out and install it. This is my avocado tree that I'm growing from a seed. From a seed. We can grow avocados here in Florida. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah. Okie dokie. Now, this needs to come out of this side. Yeah. All right. And it needs to go into this pin right here. Kind of critical, but it needs to go in through here right there and it's going to be a little bit difficult so let me go do some tappity tapping here some tappity tapping okay that's a start In the hole. Coming out the other side. Now, that's how that goes in here. Yep, that's how that goes in here. And it locks down like that. Alright, okay. All right, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, see this little gizmo here? That's supposed to go on there and keep the uh, that pin from moving back and forth. And I have found that it doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So I have made my own stop. Somebody just pulled in the driveway here. Okay, so I've made my own stop keep this pin from moving out over on this side this is to keep this from rubbing up against here so I've also uh, made a little bit of uh, a few alterations myself and this pin right here I keep having to put grease on it because this pin was way too soft and when it comes down to lock the head in place the pin was way too soft and kept on bending, so I put this bolt in there. So I've made some modifications of my own. And it works better. That's all there is to it. It just works better. Okay. Got the sides back on. Had a few challenges that I didn't record. Just aggravating little things. But this is how you slide, slide the uh, trolling motor, motor in. Right through there, like that. And I like to turn mine this way. It locks in there, just like that. And now, the business end, right here, goes on here. Oops, oops, oops. Watch out for screws dropping on the ground. And the first thing you do is you put this on. 
this is the turning heel helps us turn right here so make sure you put this end on first not backwards because you'll have to undo everything if you put it on backwards fortunately it is something I have not ever done I'm going to put it down to about here because I'm going to raise the control motor up to do it and give it a test later on and this let me get all, everything out of there so I don't lose it yeah okay goes in there like that it slides up here like this now now's the time to stop this is the brain right here this is what costs the money this is your GPS there's your little GPS antenna right there if you have to replace this it's some bucks it's some big bucks I hope I don't have to replace it Hello. okay got to be a little bit careful here because you see you got two screws coming in there I'm going to put this screw right through the middle of these two wires in there good and tight now alrighty now I'm going to hook this up to here and this up to here and I think I'm going to shrink wrap them together just so no salty old salty water gets in there all right I'll get back to you yeah, I saw that Shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it, shrink it, shrink it down, shrink it down, shrink it down. Don't burn it up, but just shrink it down. Okay. Alrighty, there's that part. Let me screw this head all back together here. And then I'll give it a test. And I'll bring you along for the test. Okay. Tell I live on a noisy street during the daytime. All right, let's see how, how we're doing here. Looking good. Looking good. I can't put it on GPS to right now because of this. I want my motor to hit and it will. I don't think I can put it anywhere to where I can test the GPS unless I put it in the water. So I'm ready to go tomorrow. Big John is not coming out with me tomorrow. Um, he has to take his wife to the doctor for a doctor's appointment. So. I will be going out solo, which is kind of good. I want to test this troll motor out anyway. Make sure everything's working fine. And that's it, folks. I'll let you know how it's going when we get out tomorrow. Out the well, brothers and sisters of the hook, I'm out here at the end of the jetty, more or less. Troll motor seems to be working the way it's supposed to. If it continues to work the way it's supposed to, I'll turn this big motor off and I'll go out there a little bit. It's a little more risky. It's kind of risky right here. But, just had a guy I've known for a long time tell me that he caught seven black drum. I think he caught them in there, but he said, you know, I asked him out here and he said he just caught seven black drum. That's pretty cool. I like that. I think I just got the bottom.
Okay, you can probably see in there that I've already got the, the head installed and I've decided to go ahead and rather than just use the lithium grease in these uh, screw holes, I've gone ahead and put the marine um, grease in there in the screw holes because I know that it needs to be packed with grease. Plus, I've also greased my bolt, my uh, improved steel bolt here. But, um, also had a uh, brother of the hook tell me something very interesting that I didn't know that um, the gray anti seize has uh, metal in it that can cause um, it to actually lock up between two different metals and uh, it's, it's not made for that they actually have some marine anti seize so I'm going to look up the difference between the marine anti seize and the regular gray anti seize and I will probably get a tube of marine anti seize take these out wipe them off put some of the marine anti seize on and put it back in there and I want to thank that brother of the hook for uh, pointing that out didn't know that always learn something new if you're paying attention I gotta blow out all these leaves because me and brother Gary are supposed to go fishing tomorrow if it's not raining. So, we'll get back to you in a little bit.